hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel let's check out what happened in nifty and bank nifty in today's trading session as we all can see that today bank nifty opened in between r1 of the daily cpr and the pivot today was a one line of cpr hence it can it could be a trending day or a boring day so basically a trend didn't really happen we can say but did give a good move in terms of both call and put for the trade so it gave opportunity to short as well as an opportunity to long in the market today so let's check out what happened uh, during the day so the candles opened between r1 and the pivot of the daily range hence it came down to the cpr but it was a one liner cpr and the first candle itself closed on the pivot so we had to wait for the pivot to break and our next target would be the daily s1 so the candles came up at the daily s1 and this was our first trade in the morning the second trade was that the s1 didn't break hence bank nifty went back up to the cpr that was a second trade third trade in bank nifty was basically again back to the s1 as per the rule didn't break the pivot hence again it came down to s1 we had three trades in bank nifty which is pretty good and in these three opportunities at least we could have captured 30 points in each trading opportunity let's check out what nifty was up to about in during the day so nifty the chart was is a bit clean in nifty versus bank nifty because nifty in the morning was pretty much strong and very adamant to go up in the morning itself it opened in between r1 and the uh, daily pivot and as per the logic it didn't break the r1 at glance but came down suddenly and had a good up move as well because there was a problem of weekly r1 in nifty today which was giving a good resistance to go up but as and when it broke the weekly r50 percent r1 mark it gave us a good rise and hence broke the r1 and 50 percent of r2 of the daily range acted as a good support hence we got a good drop down up until the cpr which is a very good trade here to be caught in nifty and here itself we could have a one trade in nifty so in nifty i would say we we can identify two trades but this one was much more safer and a good move uh, opportunity trade this was a bit confusion you can say but the points were not really clear from where we take the trade so let's check out what do we have for tomorrow in nifty and bank nifty so let's check out tomorrow's cpr what's happening in the tomorrow's cpr so in nifty we have a very narrow cpr for tomorrow it can be a trendy day but remember it's tuesday hence a discount in the premiums is possible for tomorrow so for tomorrow what we can expect in nifty and how can we identify trades is basically we need to wait for the candle to open in the morning and wait for the opportunity because i feel 17 749 can be a good resistance because it's a yearly top pivot and as and when somewhere you get your candles open in between your r1 and r2 wait for the candles to touch yearly top pivot because if it doesn't break we get a good fall in the market but if the candles open negatively the market open if the trades into negative early in the morning wait for 17.476 for a good drop down otherwise wait for 17.558 their next target your second target is 17.516 
and then 17476 these can be your trap targets on the bottom side but make sure any of these points weekly bottom pivot that's 17476 17516 that's a weekly pivot and 17558 that's weekly top pivot can be a reversal point for nifty tomorrow let's check out bank nifty what we have for tomorrow in bank nifty so bank nifty is pretty much a a difficult day for bank nifty tomorrow because the daily pivot and the weekly pivot is aligned together hence what we can expect is we have to trade very carefully in bank nifty wait for the opportunity so for me i would say the best opportunity is to break 40 631 once the 4631 mark is broken we can expect a good fall down in bank nifty but if say for example it reverses again from 4759 that's today you can see it took a very good support it can bounce back but understand one thing on the top side wait for 4995 to break that's basically 41000 level to break and then we can expect 41180 41213 as our targets in bank nifty but make sure that we need to have a good opportunity here in bank nifty because there are a lot of resistances and support for our trades to basically not work out in our favor so hence wait for the opportunity and then only enter the trade understand the significance of all the resistances and support because at the bottom also if you want to take a trade if you wait for 4631 to break our biggest hurdle for going down will be 4453 that's none other than the monthly top pivot for bank nifty hence i would say bank nifty is a bit problematic at the moment because if it breaks any of the levels it can give a good move but a good reversal as well so you have to be prepared for both of the scenarios in bank nifty that whether a good reversal can be a good trade for us or a good fall down for that level to break down a confirmation for a good trade in bank nifty so make sure guys just look out for certain points in bank nifty for tomorrow as per the daily CPR, wait for R1 that's approximately somewhere nearby 41100 to break and then take your long side trades for the first target of 41180, 41213. Exit because that's the 50% of monthly resistance one and monthly week, uh, sorry, weekly resistance one, 50%. So we can expect a reversal from here. But today, the good thing happened was Bank Nifty has already touched weekly S1. That's the 50% of weekly S1 today. So we can expect bank nifty to touch 4631 tomorrow if 46 uh, 631 level is not broken we can expect again 40900 as our targets for tomorrow but if 4631 is broken 4553 exit the trade once because it's a monthly top pivot nifty might halt or give a good reversal from there I hope everything is clear again talking about nifty i missed out one point to tell you guys for tomorrow just understand one thing here that nifty has not broken 50 percent of r1 because it went up and then again came down so uh, we need to understand here that for tomorrow 17 749 can be a good resistance or else if nifty is negative tomorrow wait for 17476 to break and then you take a trade it's a narrow cpr so your next target will be 17432 and after that there are very nearby supports and strong supports for nifty 
which can be a hurdle for nifty to go down because here you can see easily that yearly pivot and weekly s1 are together and also there are monthly pivot points at the bottom so i would rather say that 17 for uh, 392 can act as a very good support for nifty and to go on the long side you need to wait for the yearly pivot that's 17 for 749 to break and then only you can take a trade nifty can be a trendy but just like this and take your trade so i would rather say that wait for the correct opportunity you will get a very good trade because this week the weekly cpr the weekly pivots are also narrow and uh, the monthly pivots are also narrow in nifty nifty can give a good trend this month just wait for the opportunity take small trades uh, sorry take small profits and take multiple trades it should be your goal monthly um, pivots can act as a good positional targets but i would rather say intraday is the best don't leave any positions overnight because it's a news based market these days anything can happen or nothing can happen because the wix is also on a lower side so your premiums won't really run as per the expectations so that's all for today guys um, hope you enjoyed the video please like share and comment and meet you tomorrow same time and all the best for tomorrow thank you so much